Hi, it's Tara with Smart Deploy. In this video, we're going to show you how to make an answer file, which is basically the brains of your imaging operation, providing the instructions on how you want your deployment to go. First, go to the answer file pane in the left menu, then under actions, click create. Now, by default, Smart Deploy answer files are unattended. But you can also set the answer file to be attended, which you can do here under advanced settings. Click on the general tab and select attended. When you do this, you'll see a checkbox appear on the bottom left corner of each screen in the wizard, allowing you to choose whether or not you want to skip it. When you're done, hit next. Going back to the main wizard, you'll first select your image source, whether you're using an image saved on a local network or offline media or in your cloud storage account. We're going to pick local in this case. Hit next. Here, the default is to use the local account that gets created when you install Smart Deploy. Just like we explained in an earlier video, when you install Smart Deploy, a default local user account is automatically created to facilitate moving files from the Smart Deploy folder share to our target machines. And it is your local Smart Deploy user account credentials that get auto populated here. But if you wanted, you can also use any account that has read access to the file share on your Smart Deploy central server. Then hit next. Next, select the image you want to deploy from wherever it's saved. The image name and description are what we specified at the capture stage. A WIM file can also contain multiple images. And if that's the case, when you select your WIM file, you can also select a specific image within it using this drop down menu. When you're done, hit next. By default, the answer file wizard will look for platform packs in the same smart deploy directory as the WIM file you selected earlier. The good thing about smart deploy images is that they are hardware independent and you can apply them to any Windows device. You can pair your image with model specific driver packs or platform packs that you can deliver to different machines in the same deployment. At deployment time, Smart Deploy will simply use WMI queries to select the correct platform pack for each device. Click Next. Here you can select the application packs you want to include in your deployment. While you can bake core apps into your base image, you can also distribute apps to target machines by adding application packs to your answer file to install them after the imaging. You can also set the order that you want to install them, like so. What we generally recommend is that you install your antivirus last so that it doesn't interfere with any of the other installations. Hit next. When it comes to naming devices, there are three ways to do it in the answer file wizard. These can be listed in any order you want, and Smart Deploy will attempt to apply them in the order specified. Meaning, if one fails, it'll move on to the next in line. A logical order would be to go with the WMI option first, followed by existing computer name and custom name as the last choice. When you're done, click Next. Smart Deploy integrates with the User State Migration tool, making it easy to migrate user data during the imaging process if you need to. You can decide what you want to migrate along with your image. Or you can also skip over this bit and hit next. If you have a product key that you need to define, this is an opportunity to enter it. Hit next when you're done. Here I have the option to set the target machine or machines to join my domain if I wanted. If I select and specify a domain here, on the next page I'll be prompted to enter my domain admin credentials in the next step. The OU field is optional. If you leave it blank, the machine will just get added to the default container and not a specific OU. Okay, next. Because we set up the domain join, we need to put in our domain admin credentials here and click next. Set your time zone and language here. If you haven't already, you can set it to install the Smart Deploy client on your target machines as part of the deployment. Description is optional. If you wanna leave it blank, you can. Next. When you reach the end, you can review your answer file settings and make sure everything looks right. If you're happy with what you see, hit next. That will complete the wizard and create your answer file. And we're done. Next, we'll look at creating boot media. For Smart Deploy, I'm Tara.